Hey, how's it going? How are you finding lockdown? All right, you coping? Homeschooling all right? Not too stressed? Are you doing any of it? We're doing some, a bit, when we can, doing other things. Yeah, it's all right. But one thing that has changed is that I've stopped reading the news and I've stopped listening to the news because, to be honest, I'm sick of hearing the same thing. I'm sick of hearing the daily death toll. I'm doing my bit about it. I'm doing my bit in social distancing and staying home and all this. So I'm doing what I can. Hearing the numbers doesn't... There's nothing I can do about it, really. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't help to listen to that. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear some good stuff. I'm sick of hearing the same stuff. I'm sick of hearing stuff, but stuff I can't do anything about. If there's stuff you want to tell me that's going on in the world that's not great that I can make a difference to, then, yeah, I want to hear that in the news. But I don't want to hear the stories about the stuff I can't do anything about because it doesn't help. Um, and actually, you know, I look around me here, even just in my garden, it's it's a beautiful world we live in. It's really nice. Behind me, there's a bush full of like about 20 bumblebees buzzing away. I quite often see bunny rabbits in my garden and the flowers are out and I can hear birds singing in the background. Um, just down behind me in the distance, you probably can't see it, whoops, uh, is the sea and the beach and it's beautiful. I live in a beautiful part of the world called the Outer Hebrides. And the world's full of good people too. It's not just that it's a beautiful planet, beautiful nature and wildlife, but people are pretty much all around good. You know, we're stuck in the islands here and I can't get to my mum, she's on the mainland, and I can't get to relatives who need a bit of help. But I've been amazed how many people have gone out of their way to support them. Their neighbours have just said, I'll do your shopping, I'll come and cut your grass, I'll, yeah, just do things that normally they wouldn't have done, but they've just offered because everybody just wants to help everybody out. And most people are like that. And that's why a few months ago I started getting what's called the Happy Newspaper. Because I got really tired of hearing bad stuff on the news. And not even just bad stuff, even if it's good stuff. It was just the same story every time. So I really like this because I think it's really positive. I think it's really good for my mental health. I think it's good for yours. And I really encourage you to read this. It's 32 pages of good news stories. And it'll remind you how awesome the world is and how awesome the people in the world are. And that you and I are part of just a great, great, great world. Um, it's one newspaper you should read in the back first. The back's always got something really positive in it. Really positive uh, quote or poster. And I recommend you put this on your wall, uh, on your window, maybe beside your rainbow um, that's in your window. Um, yeah, and then read that and then pass it on to somebody. Pass it on to someone else who needs a bit of boost. Give your mental health a treat. Give it a boost today and read some happy news. And then pass it on. And then use it to wrap a present. It makes really nice wrapping paper too. But anyway, give your, give your, head, give your head a treat. It's like cake for the head. Mm.